Hi there, and welcome to the Interview SME series. Following the release of the GDP report for the third quarter of 2020, Nigeria is officially in recession. This is coming after negative GDP growth was recorded for consecutive quarters. Naturally, this development affects the economy negatively and may worsen if not handled correctly. No doubt, small and medium enterprises will be the most affected by the recession due to their vulnerability and the limited resources at their disposal. We discussed with a seasoned economist, Mr. Adewale Oyerindi, who is the Deputy Director and Head of Membership Services for the Nigerian Employers Consultative Association, NECA. Mr. Oyerindi tells us what must be done to keep small businesses immune to the recession and how to activate the quick resurgence of the economy. One of the ways we drive our economy out of recession is probably to increase aggregate, the process of increasing aggregate demand. Let's improve the ability of people to buy. And most of the small businesses, if you you agree with me, most of them thrive on daily sales. Daily sales, daily purchases. So the level of transaction at that level is very high. And in a situation where you find the, the people, the masses, or the, the citizens that are supposed to patronize these industries have issues with their own purchasing power, then it creates other dynamics for those, uh, those small businesses. Also, infrastructure. Negative growth doesn't just it doesn't just happen. There are factors where if you have infrastructure issues, you have regulatory issues, you have um, policy issues that has affected consistently affected all those businesses, all those sectors, and has gradually reduced their potential to contribute to the GDP. So over time, as their potential dwindles, their contribution to the GDP dwindles. As other factor, both local and international, comes to play also, it's they all combine to just push everybody to the absy of, of, of collapse. You know? So it's, it's a big issue for 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 the small and for the small and medium scale industries. And it's affecting them, it's also affecting affecting the big industries. Because it's all boils down to their ability and capacity to continue to produce because survival lies in production. As many have said, population can be a cause. Also, population can be a blessing. But we've seen China grow, and the economy of China is growing. Why is it growing? With their the large population that they have. And it says something. And with a large population, you have a lot of people to feed. With the large population, you have a, a large number of people that if they have money in their pockets, they can buy. So with that large population, employed, they have high level of disposable income to spend. And the more people are employed, government will make collect tax in the context of employee tax, personal income tax. So government is making money from those that are employed. As those people are employed, they are patronizing businesses. As businesses are being patronized and making profits. They are either expanding, and as they are expanding, they are employing more persons. And as the business is expanding, the business is also paying more tax, corporate tax to government. So government is, is making, is gaining at that at one end. The employee that is employed is gaining at one end. The business also is gaining at one end. So employment is a fundamental issue that we need to deal with. Deal with the issue of employment, then you have the, the mass of people of use employed, then they can patronize the product of those businesses. And as those products of those businesses have been patronized, the businesses can also produce more. So it has a ring effect, a reverberating effect. And if you break one circle, if you break the flow, then it also affects, it has a reverse effect on everything. Of 
for all our position has been the position and i want to say us for for the nigerian employers consultation association and the organized private sector the government should focus on inflating or assisting the, the challenge before before now was actually getting government to seriously and deliberately support businesses to come out of to recover from the from, um, from COVID-19 issue. Because herein lies herein lies one of the uh, major uh, major strategy for exiting the challenges of COVID-19 and also exiting recession. Help businesses to grow. Let's strategically focus, pump money on areas of the economy that has the potential to generate massive employment. Because countries like US, because the recession, recession is not peculiar to all of us. It's not peculiar to Nigeria, but recession is peculiar to all, most nations of the world have this issue now. So the challenge is, what are those people doing that we are not doing? And one of the things they are doing is quote and unquote, to spend their way out of recession, pump money into productive areas you know, so that people can get engaged, you know, construction, manufacturing, another big area is aviation, those areas that have been uh, affected seriously. And then we have to look back at what are, during our boom, the times when things are good, what are the sectors that actually drove development? What are the sectors that actually drove GDP growth? So for us, what will it be? Why not? Let's really focus on those sectors that have consistently pushed up GDP growth. And as you push up those sectors, they will also drag along every other sector so that all of us together can come out of, of this um, unfortunate uh, situation that we find that we find ourselves in.